Hello everyone, how do you do? This is project how to do and today we are going to take a look at my new laser engraver, Flying Beer Laserman. Main parameters. Working area 400 by 450 mm. Engraving speed out to 10,000 mm per minute. Laser power 5.5 watt. Focal spot 0 0.08 by 0.1 mm. Connections by Wi-Fi, USB and memory card. And very nice feature, air assist with air filter. Laser arrives like a kit, but it's pretty simple to assemble. You will find all necessary tools and accessories inside the box. Besides the laser itself, you will find safety glasses, pack with USB cable, USB to microSD card, microSD card itself, spare air filter, roller attachment for making and driving on round objects some test materials, bus wood, plywood and a metal keychain. So pretty much all you need to start working and testing this machine. All screws are labeled and assembly manual is straightforward. With lots of pictures. Also there is a QR code with a video instruction. Full assembly took me about 20-30 minutes. When you turn on the laser you will see this menu. First step, I would recommend you to go to Wi-Fi settings and connect it to your network. After that, you will see the IP address. Enter it in the browser on any device in your network and you can operate the laser remotely. Next up is settings. There you can change language, Chinese or English. Turn off this very loud buzzer. Enable the roller mode. Set up an air assist speed. It's only working while engraving get information about limit switches and some information about laser, software and support contacts. Next up is move. There you can move the laser head in all directions, turn off stepper motors, so you will be able to move laser head manually. Also you can turn on the laser with different power and run it to the home position. The last up is engraving. There you can choose a J-code, store it on the microSD card. Before engraving you have to set up the focus distance. It's pretty simple. In the accessories you will find this small piece of metal, just place it on top of the engraving surface, loose the screw, lower the laser head and tighten the screw. While you are looking at the working laser, let's talk about connections. As I mentioned before, you can run this laser from USB, Wi-Fi or memory card. All of those methods are working fine, but there is one point. The air filter only works when starting from a memory card. I contacted Flying Beer and asked uh, maybe I missed something, but they said there is no way to turn it on remotely. I really like the air filtration because right now I live in a tiny apartment and don't want all around me smell like burning wood. So what I come out with? I make a G-code in Lightburn software and instead of running directly from Lightburn I save it as a G-code file and transfer it to a laser with the online interface. Then I run this file from a laser itself. Also let's talk a little bit about images I using. All of them were made in AI called Stable Diffusion. It's very simple, you just describe what you want and it creates images for you. I'm playing with this AI for a couple of months and decided to make a YouTube channel with tutorials, so if you're interested in this, welcome. Back to the laser. There is a very useful program called uh, MKS Laser Tool. You can use it to update firmware, on the laser, convert G-code to some kind of faster G-code, I don't know how it works, but laser reads converted files much faster, so I recommend to use it. Also you will need this software to calculate a roller travel resolution. Let's try the roller. For this you will need to plug wire from the roller to the Y-axis. In Lightburn everything as usual. Then I use MKS laser tool to convert G-code, open it as a text. At the top you will see Y-axis engraving size. Copy it, open roller mode in the MKS laser and enter these numbers. Object diameter. 
In my case it's a can of soda and it's 66 mm. All other values enter the same as on the screen. Press calculate and remember this number. Go to the machine, open settings, roller mode, turn it on and enter the number you calculated. Choose the file, position and engrave. So what can I say about this laser? I like the air filter, it's really working. I cannot say there is uh, no smell at all while working, but it helps a lot. Like the cable management, like the laser model, despite it's not the most powerful one, but small laser dot make it possible to engrave metal. Also I like the price, for 300 bucks it's a pretty good machine. Only one downside I found is software. I would prefer to make engraving in one program and engrave directly from PC with working air filter or at least have an ability to manually turn on air filter. Also I think it would be great to have a roller calculator right in the machine. So that's all I have for you today, hope you like this video, all links in the description, see you next time, bye.